Hey everyone, I uh, just posted an article to the blog just a few minutes ago, and uh, the article is actually located here on uh, Breitbart, and so if you want to take a look at it, you can go for it, of course. Um, I'm just going to comment on it because it's pretty self-explanatory what's up here. Uh, as the article alludes to, according to the Pope, there are now four pathways to becoming a saint according to Roman dogma. And I say according to Roman dogma because anyone with a Bible can see this is not how the Lord defines a saint. As many of you know, I used to be Roman Catholic 30 plus years ago. And so I know exactly what they teach here when it comes to becoming a saint in Roman Catholicism. But to make a long story short, I will quote from the Vatican approved website known as the Catholic Education Resource Center, which states, today the process proceeds as follows. When a person dies who has fame of sanctity or fame of martyrdom, the bishop of the diocese usually initiates the investigation. One element is whether any special favor or miracle has been granted through this candidate saint's intercession. So, as we see with the Pope's supposed new pathway, it still holds to the ancient requirement of the Vatican that in order to be considered a saint, you must die and then go to heaven. Once there, you must manifest miracles that coincide with Vatican dogma. Problem is, as I outline in my video about the biblical definition of the state of the dead, the Pope is actually lying so as to allow the demons to manifest as dead humans, who will of course declare Vatican dogma seeing how it is their dying god Satan who wrote it in the first place. So, how does the Bible define sainthood? Well, there are actually 98 Bible verses in the King James Bible that use the words saint or saints. But I don't think I need to use all of them here, as this would make for one long video. And I'm sure just a few dozen or so would make my point rather clear on this. And so I'll just let them scroll by on the screen here. So please just be patient here for a moment. Okay, not only do all these verses show the Pope does not read his Bible, it also shows he knows his flock won't read it either because as I reveal on my Words of a Beast page on my website, we have actual quotes from the Popes of Rome wherein they declare their hatred of the Scripture. And so they refuse to teach the Bible as the absolute and infallible word of the God of all creation. The basic biblical reality here is the word saint is easily found in both the Old and New Testament, wherein it is used to depict the action of or action towards living believers in the God of the Bible that have not yet died. Yet Rome, a church known all too well for her preoccupation with death, both in how they display a dead Jesus on every crucifix they hang in their churches, to the hundreds of millions they boldly tortured and killed, and even admitted doing so via the lips of John Paul II and his mea culpa of March 2000. They even have entire churches decorated with the skeletal remains of their victims. I did a video on that back in September of 2010 that is most assuredly rather gruesome, to say the least. And some may find this a bit shocking as well, but were you aware that the Church of Rome also parades decapitated heads of even more victims before their congregation so as to incite both fear as well as abject worship of their Vatican priests. So that all being said, who else is preoccupied with death? Beelzebub, whose true name, when defined in English, is the God of the Dung. And just so you know, that dung he rules over is the rotting flesh of all his victims scattered all over the face of the earth that die horrible deaths when the God of the living splits that eastern sky. If you want all the Bible verses that confirm what happens before, during, and after the supposed 1,000 years of peace that they're all preaching today, and it's just about to start but not in the way they think, you might want to check out this page on my website when you get a chance. Just go to the... Uh, uh, where is it here? Prophecy section. Go down to uh, false prophecies and go to 1,000 years of peace. I don't have to put many comments on this page at all because there are so many Bible verses that describe what happens before, during, and after the second coming that it's really just a matter of reading what the Bible says here. 
And before closing the video, for those of you that need to drive this home, for those people that the Lord sends your way, you know, in regards to how the Bible defines sainthood, you can, of course, show them the Bible verses that I just scrolled by a few moments ago, but you can also show them the other Bible verses that I didn't post because it's just way too many. Thank you for watching. God bless.